I'll show you how to use the Stock Panel in Affinity Photo, which lets you search and immediately import royalty-free stock imagery into your compositions. I'll move over to the Stock Panel on the right. On the drop-down here, I can change the Stock Image site, which will be searched. I'll search on Pixabay for this example. Now notice that there is a usage policy here, which you must explicitly agree to by checking I understand. If you don't do this before searching for images, you will be prompted to agree when dragging an image from the panel. You will need to do this just once for each search engine individually. Now, I want to try compositing some drone photography using my existing image taken from a drone here. So I'll search for drone, then use return on the keyboard to begin searching. I quite like the look of this image here, so I will click drag the image onto my existing document and let go of the mouse button to download and place it. Switching across to my layers panel here, I can see the stock image in my layer stack. I need to scale this up and move it, so I'll switch to the move tool using V on the keyboard. I have a good idea of where this image needs to be positioned. So here is a useful technique. I can use the number keys to control layer opacity. So I'll type 5 to set the stock image's opacity to 50%. Then I'll zoom out and scale this image until the road is positioned to the right of the barn here. Now I can use 0 to set the opacity back to 100%. And I'll add a mask layer to the stock image. I want to reveal the barn from the underlying image. So I'll select the paintbrush tool from the tools panel on the left. Then I'll use a modifier to increase the brush nozzle width and reduce its hardness. On Mac, you can hold Control and Option. Then click drag to the right to increase width. And click drag up to decrease hardness. On Windows, you would hold Ctrl and Alt instead. Now I just need to change my brush colour to black, which I can do here on the Tools panel, or alternatively, I can press X on the keyboard. As I hover my brush nozzle over the image, I'll get a real-time preview of the changes I'll be making. So I can just hover over where the barn is positioned, then click-drag to paint black onto the mask which will hide this portion of the stock image and reveal the original image underneath. If I need to tidy up the mask edges, I can zoom in, switch to white using X, reduce the brush width using the left square bracket key, and paint around the edges here until I am happy with the result. I can then perform some more non-destructive layer work above the stock image. So for example, I might add a selective colour adjustment, then switch across to yellows, reduce the cyan slider, and increase the yellow slider to give the composition a more autumnal feel. If I select the stock image layer, then go back to the move tool using V, you can see on the context toolbar, there is an open stock URL button. This will open a web browser and take you to the stock image page, which is useful for attribution purposes or to see if the author has any other imagery that you may wish to look at. Stock images don't have to be added to existing imagery. You can create a new document using the pixel resolution and color space of your chosen stock image. For example, I'll search for landscape on Pexels. I quite like the look of this image, so I'll click drag it from the panel. Now, because I didn't previously check the I understand box for this search engine, I'll be prompted to do so before I can start downloading any images. To create a new document using this stock image, I can drag it to the top toolbar instead of the working area. Then when I release the mouse button, it will open as a new document using the pixel resolution and color profile from that stock image. You only have to drag a stock image to the top toolbar if you have an existing document open. 
If I close both documents, I can simply drag any stock image into the working area to create a new document. And that was a quick overview of how to use the stock panel in Affinity Photo. Thank you for watching.